Hi guys, this is Stephanie Miller with Sam Designs and I am bringing to you a really cute craft for Thanksgiving. If you're like me and you have all these wine corks saved up for over the years and don't know what to do with them, I'm gonna show you a really cute idea. Two different ideas that you can do for Thanksgiving and for maybe a hostess gift, so come see. All right guys, now that you have your turkey body together and the two little feet at the bottom, if you can see, I kind of put them as a diagonal so you could um, see their little feet. And then I'm going to take five more, five or six more, and place them like this because these are gonna be his feathers. And I'm gonna place them all like this and I'm gonna glue them on. So here we go. Okay, so I just glued my last couple pieces on and I did a variety of wine corks because of all my different favorite wines. So there he is. And I kind of put these last two at an angle so the feathers would kind of spread out like that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, you can either leave it like this if you like the natural look of the cork or you can paint it. I'm gonna show you that next. I'll probably make a couple different ones because I really like the natural look of the cork but I'll probably paint these with different colors of feathers and then put a little light coat of brown on here. And then his feet will have a little bit of an orange and I'll do a little like red thing for his gobble and some eyes. So that will be my next steps. I'm gonna show you how to use the Sharpie and then I'm gonna show you also the painting version when I do his beak. So this might be a little easier for you just to use a sharp Sharpie, like a fresh one. So you can make his little eyes might be easier for you to control your hands and stuff with him. So he'll be just like that, two little eyes. And then in my paint tray, I've already poured orange, red, yellow, and all the colors that I wanna use for his feathers. But I'm just gonna do the beak right now. And I'm gonna take a little bit of orange on a really thin brush that I use normally for writing. And I'm gonna do a little tiny beak on him. And you can go back and define this by outlining it with black if you want, but for right now, we're just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the red and I'm not washing my brush because they're so similar in color. And I'm just gonna do a little swirly goblet like that. Again, if it's easier, go ahead and take a black Sharpie and draw that out or some sort of a pen so you can kinda get the shape that you want. So there he is. Okay, so we're ready to start painting the feathers. I have this brush. It is kind of like a thick frayed brush because I wanna take a little bit of a coat on each of the wine corks because I want some of the wine cork to show through. So again, I've got all my colors here, the ones that I want. I've got hot pink, teal, green, because I wanted a mix of everything. And I'm gonna start by his head. I think I'll start with pink. And I'm just gonna paint a little tiny coat like this. I'm gonna start off with a light coat. I'm just gonna brush a little bit because like I said, I want it to be, I want you to be able to see the name of the wine cork through it. And then I'm going to take, you can either rinse your paintbrush, but because of the video, I just got a couple different paintbrushes. And then I think I'm gonna do teal, but each one I'm gonna do a different color. Okay, now that his feathers are all done, I am going to paint the body of him just a brown. Again, when I painted this, I did a very light coat. You can almost paint it and wipe it off so it's almost like a stain. So I'm gonna show you that right here. So like that green one I did, I just kind of want them stained almost because I want it to save the look of the wine cork and not have it like a flat color all across. So you can kind of see up close, when you look through, you can see the name of the wine. So next I'm gonna paint the body, so here we go. Okay, now that his body's painted, he's really looking like a turkey and I'm just loving all of his 
colorful feathers. The last thing that we have to do, and this is optional, is to paint his little feet. So I'm gonna paint him orange. I might put a little bit on the bottom of it. So I'm gonna paint the tips orange the same way I did it, um, the feathers. Okay guys, so here he is. He is so cute. I've got everything done how I wanted to. You can kind of mix and match the colors, but how cute to set out for Thanksgiving, how unique and a good way to use your wine corks. Also, if you're looking for a little hostess gift to give to somebody who especially loves wine or maybe pair it up with a bottle of wine, how adorable. Love it.